two central Dunedin blocks, nine existing landowners and one point uh, four billion dollars. Those are the numbers behind today's announcement that a rebuilt Dunedin Hospital will occupy the site of the former Cadbury factory and a block to the north in the city. Health Minister David Clark made the announcement to much jubilation at the existing hospital this morning with those present lauding today as a significant step towards this long awaited rebuild. Our Otago Southland reporter Timothy Brown was there. The site that has been selected is the Cadbury block the block immediately north, which we call uh, the Wilson's block, and a little car park, park over toward the railway station, um, which will be a part of the Cadbury's purchase. That's Health Minister David Clark confirming one of Dunedin's worst kept secrets. Cadbury is gone and a new hospital will replace it. The rebuild will also include the entire block to the north of Cadbury, and a former Cadbury staff car park, a site which may become a parking building for the new hospital. But what did come as a shock was news that Cadbury World, home to 39 staff and a planned $7 million redevelopment, will also close to make way for the rebuild. Mr Clark says it is early days, but the government is still working towards estimates that it will cost $1.4 billion. Two options for the configuration show the main hospital building being 10 storeys high. However, any design and concept will be discussed further down the track. Mr Clark did, however, reiterate the government's intention to break ground by the 2020 election and gave an indication of when the project will be complete. Our best uh, estimate at this stage is 2026. Um, you know, as we, as we do the uh, further scoping that you'd expect to do in a detailed business case, the, the exact end date will become clearer. The man steering the rebuild, Southern Partnership Group Chairman Pete Hodgson, says today is a big day. I'm very happy, I'm very relieved and I think we've, we've just had a big day. <laughs> big day for the city and the region. Um, we're able to say we're going to have a hospital and it's going to be here. Pete Hodgson says the final site is the same as recommended to Cabinet by the Southern Partnership Group and will continue to provide important links between Otago University and the hospital. However, there are still some hurdles and while the rebuild will take place under the Public Works Act, Mr Hodgson says talks have already begun with Mondelez, Cabri's owner, and the eight owners occupying the Wilson block. The businesses will still be open tomorrow and next week and next month because... Uh, there is a period of time taken um, to secure uh, the land. The process is under the Public Works Act but need not necessarily involve compulsory acquisition and hopefully will not. The need for a complete rebuild was spelled out by Southern DHB Commissioner Cathy Grant. The reasons are pretty obvious. Our current buildings and in particular the clinical services building uh, which is behind us are no longer fit for purpose. Our patients deserve to be cared for in better facilities and our staff deserve to work in better spaces. Cathy Grant says today is a day everyone in the southern regions has been looking forward to. Dunedin's Mayor Dave Cull agrees. I think it's great to have certainty and I think it's great to have a realisation that the amount of land that has been earmarked for the hospital is, uh, includes room for expansion and it includes, as I see it, room for green space. So that's very far-sighted and prudent uh, of the government to be not just trying to come up with the most constricted, cheapest option. A detailed business case is expected by mid-year and design plans will follow. In Dunedin, for Checkpoint, Timothy Brown.